you can strike as well at the same time. So learning how to get our entire mass behind our strikes. And the one we're gonna use, the strike we're gonna use for this is the double palm strike. So there's a couple of ways you can do the double palm strike. So the first one is using it as a push. I wanna keep that structure on. So as I come in, I've got that structure in that movement. So that's the push version. Then the one we'll do after that is using it as a strike. Now they won't go flying back as far with a strike. So you're going out and back as fast as you can. You're not leaving your hands there or maintaining that contact for a, even a fraction of a second longer to turn it into a push. So you're coming forward, striking and back. So if you have a look, if I do it, do it without actually striking, it's forward and back quick, okay? The difference is you're aiming for their spine. So you're aiming to leave the force in there, in the center of the opponent. So one more time, as I come in, strike and back. That has a lot more effect on that person. A lot more of an explosive force hitting them, leaving that force inside. Now, if I didn't have the pad there, I'm not gonna hit you, but we're doing it on the chest for the pad. Now you can do that, but if you really needed to use this, straight to the head here. That will send their head back and they're, they're gone, okay? So don't do that unless you absolutely really have to defend yourself to that level. Otherwise you can come in and do it as a push, okay? Or as a strike to the chest or to there if you needed to at the jaw like that. Like I said, what you're trying to do is get your entire mass behind that movement. So when you hit them, you're not just using your arms. Like if I go to push him, I'm not just pushing like that. I'm using my mass, okay? So again, if he comes here, okay, he's like threatening me. You can boom, come in and give them a bit of a shove just to let them know. That's with two arms. It also translates with one arm. So say if he's punching me with that arm, as he comes in, you can still push them with that hand as well or strike with that hand. So again, if he came in with say a hook punch, you can strike as well at the same time. Whether it's two or one, I'm still thinking of that mass coming in. You can also see I can follow up with another strike straight away here as well. So again, I could do come in, do that first, come in with a second one straight away. So this one from here has a direct path straight away hitting there. This still has my body mass behind it. All right, but what I'll do first is I'll demonstrate how we can get the structure into it. So we're gonna do this movement. So you're gonna start off, arms against the pad, thinking nice and straight. So Taigong, Sing, Nim Tao. So thinking up through your spine, tailbone to the top of the head, not allowing the arms to collapse in when you come in. Okay, so even if I'm striking, I don't wanna bring the arms back and then push through. I don't wanna come back and then try to push, okay? The way we practice it is having our arms here, keeping that angle in our arms, nice straight spine. Don't allow the arms to collapse. Now, the way we do that is you still relax, but put your awareness into your joints and imagine your joints are opening up, okay? Constantly opening up. And then you just move from your spine, you can move that person backwards, all right? Using your mass. So I wasn't using my arms or my arm strength, I was using my mass. Okay, so that's how we practice it. And then as I showed, we have the one where you can come in and do the same thing, but do it as a push. So you hear you step in, you move that person backwards, okay? That's using it as a push.